Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a quick guide for the class of Nodachi and I will explain some stuff for new players. So if you just started the game, it might be useful for you. So watch the video until the end. First of all, when you start the game, you will have the option to choose from different classes like short sword and shield, blade, bow, it's long bow actually, uh, dual blade, musket, short bow, Nodachi pole axe, longsword and shield, spear and the mall is not available at the beginning but you can do the, uh, do the tasks in season 3 and unlock this anyway, after you choose your class uh, you will have the option to choose your region and uh, the castle you want to spawn in this one is not that important because at the start of each season you have the option to choose another one but if you want to play with your friends, uh, be careful to choose the same region. After you choose your region, you will have some NPCs that give you some quests. And if you hold the tab button, you can see that uh, I have already some quests left. So the other things that I wanted to talk about is that if you press F4 button, or you can see it in the right side of the screen, uh, you can see some quests. These quests help you a lot to learn about the game and give you some items that will help you at the start at least. I've already finished them so you can see the uh, rewards. The last one is a set of a skin. Anyway, if you're a free to play player like me, uh, you won't have the access to a battle pass but don't worry uh, this game is actually good in this uh, part. Uh, you can get some really good uh, items uh, from the free battle pass that everyone gets. They are really good and with these points uh, you can go to a season store and buy whatever you want. Uh, and if you want to craft weapons you will need these and these. So keep this in mind. What I wanted to talk about is that you will have to craft your armor and your weapon. Uh, this part is really important for the end game. So if you press and hold the tab button, you can see your map. It might be different, uh, but don't worry, just find this myth and click on it. Your character will move automatically toward the smith and I will show you here uh, how to craft your weapon you will need some stuff so you can't actually craft these at the beginning but let's see uh, for the weapon you go to the tab of personal weapons and you will choose your class for me it's like Nodachi and don't bother with this one this is not actually that practical. What you want to craft is is this one. You, you, you will see this in every weapon. Like for example, this one. The blue one. And when you have the enough ingredients, you can make this one. And it will, it will give you a rare or epic or legendary. It's, it depends on your chance. I've crafted a lot to get the legendary. Anyway, let's talk about the Nodach class. If you press P, you will see your character and if you go to the skills tab, you can choose your class. For me it's Nodachi. I want to talk about the skills that I personally recommend but uh, it might be different for you. If you like to choose others, it's fine. But the way I play, these skills are quite nice. So the first one is Fearless and Steadfast. This one uh, gives you both healing and it has a nice damage. The other one is Bloodthirsty. This one is actually quite nice because it has a CC and has nice damage. So the way I play is that I use this first Bloodthirsty, then I use Fearless and Steadfast for a nice damage and healing if your HP is low. And after that, I use Blood Oath. This one is quite nice because it removes the other two skills cooldown. 
So first you use blood thirsty, then fearless and steadfast, then you use blood oath, then you have the option to use these two again because their cooldown is, is removed. And your ultimate is between these two, between Dragon Leap and Avalanche. I've tried both of them, uh, but I liked uh, Avalanche more and I went uh, to the end. Avalanche level 3. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that they've introduced rune in this season that you can apply them into your weapon and into your armor and to your helm. Uh, but not for these two. So the way they work, and uh, that's I can show you now. Uh, like one of them is that I have 15% more damage for one of my skills, fearless and steadfast. And the others I've uh, put armor penetration because I wanted to, as you can see here, I have. Uh, oh, by the way. Uh, most of the skills in this class uh, deals slashing damage, so you want to go for slashing damage, everything. And slashing armor penetration. As you can see, my slashing damage is 2,427, and my slashing armor penetration is 1,644. So it's quite nice. Uh, I recommend to go for more strength, maybe 60, but uh, I've because of my uh, armor, I've chose this. In this season, you can get this Blizzard set. And the, the way they work is that if you have two piece, you can see two piece increases piercing, slashing, and blunt damage by 200. I have the full set of crafting armor, but I use these two sets of this and two sets of crafting armor. Because your crafting armor also gives increased piercing damage, slashing, and blunt uh, by 150. This is for now. Maybe if you're watching this later, this might not be in the game. But if you're watching this right now, I recommend to do this and go for two blizzard sets and two crafting sets. This way you get 200 here and 150 slashing damage. And if you want, you can put more slashing damage or slashing armor penetration runes into your uh, gear. One last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, today they've added a new event and you will get this item, Broken Blade. If you're watching this right now and it's for another two weeks, I guess. And if you don't know how to do, how to use this, you can press O, or if you can see this on the top of the screen, activities, you should press O and go to the tab of activities and broken blade exchange. You can use them to exchange for some materials. I've already uh, got this. I'm gonna get the rare schematic chest and the rest of them is your choice, but I recommend to get these two first. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. See you next time.